Hi, this is Viosa with Web20 Ranker and I'm making this short video as a quick tip on how to understand the radius that you're looking at for your geogrids for the keywords that you're tracking with Local Viking. Once we're here in Local Viking, you have a few options here to select the grid sizes and scales. These are the five grid size options and then over here on this side we have the grid scale options starting from 100 meters all the way up to 25 kilometers. Of course you have these two options to select from whether you want to see the distances in meters or miles in this case i'm gonna go with meters as that that is what we use with our local seo campaigns here at web20 ranker so if we select this three by three grid size with a one kilometer grid scale what we are looking at right now in here is a one kilometer radius assuming that your business's location is the central red node in here. So you have a one kilometer radius in this instance and the distance between all of these nodes is one kilometer. If you want to further increase the radius, you can select the grid size to be a five by five. In this case, you have a two kilometer radius and so on and so forth. You get to add an additional one kilometer with every grid size option here that you select when you select the 13 by 13 in this case you're gonna get six nodes here which means that the 11 by 11 was added and now you have a six kilometer radius in this case usually what i find when i do the measurements uh, in google maps is that the distance between where your business is located and the first node here is always showing to be uh, approximately 1.5 kilometers so you might assume that in this case instead of only a six kilometer radius you're looking at a an approximate or a radius closer to the nine kilometers uh, nine kilometers squared is going to be 81 kilometers in bird's eye view uh, you can of course then select and click click on any of these nodes to see the competition you're facing in specific coordinates and then probably that will give you ideas on the SEO efforts you're going to have to put in in order to be able to compete or outrank your top competitors within those specific areas. If you want to further increase the radius, you can of course do that by increasing the grid scale here now. So if you go with a 2.5 kilometer grid scale, what you're getting now is a distance between each node to be 2.5 kilometers. And that's gonna mean that we're gonna count uh, it, it this way so the first node is 2.5 and then another 2.5 is going to be 5 kilometers here 7.5 10 12.5 and then 15 kilometers so in this case you're looking at a 15 kilometer radius altogether i see that a lot of times uh, when we have the, this type of setting selected for a specific geogrid we uh, think that the radius that we're looking at in these instances is 2.5 kilometers but what this uh, actually means means in reality is that you're looking at a 15 kilometer radius while the distance between each node here is at a 2.5 kilometer distance hopefully that clarifies it so you can play around with these grid sizes and grid scales uh, to understand more specifically uh, what you are facing with and get as granular as you would like for your keyword visibility within a specified area uh, so you see that depending on the type of location you are targeting with your business and the specific keyword you can decide on the type of uh, distance between nodes that is more suitable for your business it depends how densely populated that area is and how granular you would like to get uh, with these geogrid results in that case, you're going to go ahead and type in your business name here, your chosen keyword, and then select here the type of uh, radius that you're looking for. So to decrease this further, instead of 15 kilometers, if you select a 7 by 7 with a 2.5 grid scale, then in, in this case, you're looking at a 7.5 kilometer radius. If we uh, convert this into miles, that's going to be approximately 5 miles as the radius that you're looking at with this type of geogrid settings. Hopefully this clarifies things a little bit for you. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.